Once you're in Microsoft Access, you'll notice it very similar to Microsoft Word and Excel and other applications in Office 2016. On the left hand side, you'll have the recent documents or the recent databases or files that you have been working with. Then below, you have here the option to go ahead and open a pre-existing database. And then on the right hand side, here we have the option to create a blank database that you will be use, utilizing in a moment. And then further down here, we have different templates that are available in Microsoft Access 2016. These are pre-configured Access databases that you can utilize. We're going to utilize one of those templates very briefly just to learn a couple of the concepts, but we are actually in the next session here, we're going to learn how to design a database from scratch so that we understand how databases work, how to use Microsoft Access. So in our case here, I'm going to very briefly utilize here this database called Students. This is new in Access 2016. Now here's a concept that you might want to keep in mind when dealing with Microsoft uh, Access databases. Unlike Word documents and Excel where you open a document and you create the document and then uh, you manipulate it and all that type of thing, in Microsoft Access as soon as you choose to create a database you have to give it a name and you, the first thing that you do is you save that database. So in our case here we have to give it a name. Note the location where it's going to be saved and then you click on create. In this case we are utilizing a template so it's predefined with all the components and such so it's slightly different or creating a database from scratch. So first thing that you're presented here is a tutorial on how to use this. Not every one of them is going to give you this option so we're going to simply click on get started here to utilize it. Now a couple of things here just briefly so that we get a couple of the concepts and I will demonstrate these much more as we get started in the next module and typically a database has four components just like in a computer that you have the four basic functions of a computer where you have the input that the computer accepts input it stores the data by storing it in the hard drive it processes the data and then it outputs the data. In Access databases you have a similar concept as well. You have the tables which serve to store the data. That's where the data is actually stored. You have the queries which are very similar to the processing of the data on the computer and for now just keep those in the back of your mind. And then you have the forms in an Access database as well that serve as a mechanism to enter the data into that database. And then finally you have the fourth component here, the reports that serve for displaying the data in your database. So it's very similar to the output in your computer. So in our case here we have this form. So if we wanted to add a new student, we simply click on new student and then we fill in the information there. You can add the picture, you can add additional information, then click on save and then new. And then you add the next student and so on. Now this window, what we are using right now, this is referred to as the form. So this serves as an input for this database. Now that data is not really stored in the form. The data is actually stored in the table here on the students table. And we'll learn more about this in the next session. So now if we look here, this is how it will be stored. So it's very similar to like an Excel spreadsheet, but it's just a bunch of tables. And typically in a Microsoft Access database or in any database, you can have two tables, three tables, hundreds of tables, or even thousands of tables. And those tables are typically linked together via what's called primary keys and foreign keys. And we'll learn about those as well. They are kind of related. One table is related to the other table via those keys. And that's where you hear about the term relational databases because the tables are linked. The other component here is the queries. We don't have any of those for now that we could utilize. The next one would be the forms that we just used a moment ago. And then if you wanted to create a report of all the students, you simply click on all students and it will display a more visually pleasant report for you to print it out. So those are some of the basic concepts using a template. So now stay tuned for the next session that we'll learn how to design our database from scratch.
We'll create the first table and then start building a couple additional tables.